like it's trying to disconnect. Alright, well. Level 90, to steal a steel hog. Rahul Jha's eyes are full of expectation, or is it dust? Greetings, so you have decided to aid my people in retrieving our treasure, yes? They will be glad to know my long and arduous journey from our homeland in the distant south of Yokhtaral was not in vain. So the treasure we would have you recover, it contains the undying essence of an armadillo to raw vidral. These steel hogs, as we call them, rely on their tough hides to protect themselves from predators. The legends speak of one that lived to an extraordinary age. Perhaps due to its natural suit of armor, it came to be known as the Lord of the Forest. At the end of its long life, our ancestors enshrined the Vidral's soul within the steel hog vessel. For generations since, the divine blessings it bestows have been a great boon to my people. Those under its protection need not fear wild beasts, for fang or claw cannot harm them. This allows us to hunt in the forest without risking our lives. This treasure, so crucial to our people, was stolen by a tall, slender merchant, or rather a man posing as one. He came bearing exotic wares from foreign lands and served alcohol freely, toasting often to new friendships. My people became caught up in celebration, and in the morning, the merchant was gone along with the steel hog vessel. Without it, we cannot bestow its blessing afresh upon our hunters. The effect wanes over time, and one by one we are losing our protection against the savage predators that stalk our lands. As I and my granddaughter, Sital Ja, still possess the treasure's blessing, we have been tasked with locating the Steelhog vessel and returning it to the village. The trail led us here to Tuliolo, where we believe the perpetrator boarded a ship and made good his escape. The journey here has already pushed this decrepit body of mine beyond its natural limits, and the lengthy voyage by sea would likely be my end. Although I urged Sital Ja not to make the crossing alone, he was determined to give chase. Given that you hail from across the ocean, your knowledge of those lands will prove invaluable to her. Not only that, but our quarry may use the Steelhawk vessel to his own ends. Only a skilled warrior can stand against such a foe. Sitol Ja is no warrior. I'll have your treasure and two shakes of an armadillo's tail. Looks like refusal isn't an option. Fine, I'll help. I am truly grateful. My granddaughter's first port of call is a place called Alamigo. You see, as the thief took all of his wares with him, the only clue left behind was an empty bottle of whatever grog he was serving. After asking the tailors here, it seems it was produced in Alamigo, and with no other leads, she told Ja set forth. When she arrived, she should not be difficult to find. These days, only a handful of Mamul Ja attempt the journey, most of them brutish mercenaries. She told Ja is a far daintier creature, and is sure to have made a favorable impression on the locals. May the Steel Hog watch over you. Sitol Ja has traveled to Alamigo. Perhaps you should begin your search by asking around Rauger's Reach. Okay. Jermaine, are you Jermaine to our investigation? Yes, I met the Mamul Ja girl you're after. She was looking for a tall, thin man, some sort of thief, apparently. Sounded a bit like the leader of a gang of bandits that lurks around Virjala, so I told her as much. Chances are that's where she's headed. I hope she stays out of trouble. Mamuja, you say? As it happens, she came over while I was cleaning the cannons. She showed me an empty Iraq bottle and said she was looking for a bloke who had belonged to. The thing is, that brand's found all over Alamigo, so I wasn't able to help narrow down her search. Yes, I saw Mamuja on my patrols, but he carried an enormous axe, not at all like the person you described. Go to Virjala. When is that? Alagana. Hearing stone. Okay.
Here, let me apply some of this ointment. It's a common remedy where I come from. Oh, are you here to lend a hand? This poor soul was attacked by a highwayman, and I could use help tending to his wounds. Don't worry about me. It's my escort who's in trouble. He's in pursuit of thieves, and I fear he's bitten off more than he can chew. Please, will you aid him? Thieving bastards. <laughs> what? But how? Behold. Nothing like a bit of divine intervention to tip the scales in my favor. With this artifact in my hands, I am invincible. Another one, eh? Not that it matters. Kakulja, it's time you earned your coin. I appreciate the assistance, but he wasn't joking about divine intervention. Some strange force pushed me away. I can't even get near them. Steel hog vessel, return it at once in the stolen goods. You followed me all the way here from your backwater village. Alas, your journey has been for naught. The vessel is mine. I shall to fight. Shall to fight? We'll make better use of the artifact than you and your ilk ever could. By the might bestowed upon me, I will become savior to the oppressed and destitute. In light of my grand ambitions, the vessel's power would be wasted on the likes of you. If you cannot hunt without it, might I suggest a change of diet? I hear the acorns are delicious at this time of year. Damn it all, I was so close. But now is not the time for regrets. These two are in need of a healer. I'll see them safely to Rauga's reach. You mind meeting us there? Once their injuries have been retreated, we'd better tell the resistant soldiers what happened. <laughs> to the reach. Well, I'm glad we made it to safety without any more trouble. Those bandits wouldn't dare step foot in this place. How rude of me. I never asked your name or how you chanced to cross us, for that matter. Came all the way from Tuliolo at my grandfather's behest? I can't tell you how grateful I am. 
As for the highwaymen, they possess the Steelhog Vessel, a treasure from my village. Not only does it grant protection from harm, it also produces a potent blast when the barrier is dispelled. As long as our enemies have the vessel, attacks at close quarters will be extremely risky. Although, as we say in my village, cracks form in even the mightiest of shields. Knowing this, we are, in, we are careful not to rely too heavily on its power. Now that the Steelhawk Vessel has been stolen, this self-same power is being turned against innocent people such as yourselves. I only hope you can forgive me for allowing this to happen. There's nothing to forgive. If anything, we should thank you for coming to our aid. That shuttle fight as his lackeys have a lot to answer for. Indeed, we'll give the resistance our testimonies, and with any luck, the information we go will go some way to clapping those bandits and irons. I'll go with you. The soldiers here need to be warned about the vessel. No, no, leave that to us. We'll relay what you've told us, word for word. After all, you'll need to move quickly if you have any chance of getting your artifact back. When you catch those robbers, give them one from me. How about you? I hope I can count on you to be there for whatever else comes next. Ah, I knew it. I sense you're eager to get started, but I need time to plan our next move. Bandits aren't known for being found easily. I was surprised to see fellow Mamoja among them. I can't imagine why that Kapulja would work for Shaltovaita of all people. Level 90 to steal a steel hall. Complete. Level 92, Bandits Abound. Though hers is not the easiest face to read, Zito Zha's expression suggests she has vital information to share. I heard something that might help us. One of the soldiers has been contending with the same bandits who stole the vessel. I'll go and find him. Give me a moment, would you? Sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, when she told me she'd been sent an assistant, I never would have guessed it'd be the savior of Alamigo herself. You're something of a local celebrity, I take it. Love to hear more about that, but for now, let's concentrate on the matter at hand. Yes, quite. The bandits you've been chasing are behind a spate of recent incidents in Alamigo. It's more, it appears that Shaltafaya is part of a larger network known as the Passage of the Unbound, which is spreading its mayhem far and wide. In particular, they've been carrying out raids on trade caravans heading here from Gridania. We've increased patrols along that route, but the bastards strike so quickly that they've usually made good their escape by the time aid arrives. On the rare occasions we've caught them in the act, they use some kind of device or magic object to deflect our arrows and send us sprawling. It's a steel hog vessel. It was stolen from my village, you see. I'm sorry for all the trouble it's caused. The one who took it, Shaltovite, said something about using its power to help the oppressed and destitute. What do you think he meant by that? Sounds familiar. The reports say the thieves were shouting something along those lines during the other raids. They claim the merchants are overworking and underpaying their laborers, and therefore deserve to be targeted. I don't see how stealing a bunch of goods helps the workers, and there's not a shred of evidence that anyone is being exploited. If you ask me, they're just in it for the money. In any case, their reasons won't matter a jot since they're behind bars. Once they're behind bars. But for that, we'll have to catch them first. The most recent incident occurred near Porta Pretoria, one of the waypoints on the road to the palace. Want to know more? You best hear it straight from the commander there. Anyway, I'll send word ahead to let her know you're coming, assuming you are, that is. Yes, of course. Much appreciated. Sounds like a promising lead. The soldiers here were good enough to explain the lie of the land around here, so I shouldn't have any trouble making the journey by, my by myself. I'll see you there.
Good, you're both here. My colleague at the Reach has told me everything. I can confirm that we've had several sightings of Shalta Vite and his gang in recent days. They've even taken to ambushing our patrols. As most brigands would flee from armed and armored soldiers, this lot seems to take pleasure in goading us into attacking. Treasure they carry makes them invulnerable. They can also emit a devastating blast, but that's only effective at short range. Shaldavai wants to draw the soldiers into close quarters because there they stand no chance. Well, that explains their uncommon boldness. Thank you. This information will go far in helping us contend with the bandits. Hmm, sorry to interrupt. Oh, I mean, well, that's obviously him. <laughs> Oh, he was wearing a mask. I don't guess we're supposed to know that. Who might you be? Oh, simple peddlers, my good lady. I myself am of Grudanian stock, and after learning my craft in the markets of Old I now deliver all manner of finery to eager patrons throughout Eorzea. Enough about that. I hope you'll forgive me, but I couldn't help overhearing you mention a gang of highwaymen. We've heard similar tales from other traders passing through, and it seems some stretches of road are more dangerous than others. In fact, the bandits are most often seen at a specific location not far from here. If you like, we can take you there ourselves. Please, by all means. <laughs> Wait, Tilly can take care of herself, but I can't allow any more civilians than necessary into the area believed to be teeming with bandits. Seems I have no choice but to ask you to go without me. Sorry, but if those highwaymen did turn up, it wouldn't be much good in a fight. Well, you head off to investigate. I'll see if there's any information to be had here. And it's settled. I shall leave our newfound friend in your capable hands. But, oh, um, if you say so. And I suppose we should be on our way, then. If we do run into those highwaymen, you'll protect us, right? One's headed your way now. You know what to do. What? Unacceptable. Either you do this without my help, or I'll find someone who can. Show some backbone for once. We're almost there. It's just on the other side of this gully. Actually, if it's all the same to you, we'll wait here while you go on ahead. This is already more than close enough for my liking. You rank. Pick them out. Beat them? Or all of them? How oh, very fortunate. Well then, uh, I'd best contact the boss. I'm sure he'll want to know all about this. No doubt he's still talking to your friend and the commander. They'll be glad to hear you come to no harm. You'll never guess what, boss. She trounced a lot of them. Oh, yes, understood. 
I'm not quite sure why, but he said they'll be here in a jiffy. Is it true you beat them all single-handedly? Gods be good. I'm glad you're on our side. Anyway, I'll take it from here. My, my. Very impressive. And how jolly convenient for those villains to appear exactly where we thought they would, too. But above all, I'm glad no one was hurt. Well, no one important, that is. I'll leave to see that everyone's safe. It must have taken a lot of courage to bring Zilly here, knowing that danger could be lurking around every corner. Well, are you sure you're all right? If you're putting on a brave face for our benefit, there's no need, I assure you. No, no, we're fine. Couldn't be better. Well then, I'd say that's enough excitement for one day. We'd best continue on our way to Alamegan Quarter. Where's to sell, deals to broker, that sort of thing. they would say it'll be some time before any ne'er-do-wells manage to manage have the gall to descend upon this neck of the uh, desert. And as for you, my friends, I'd advise you not to stray too far from the beaten path. If you know what's good for you, ta ha nothing left for us to do here, so let's head back to Porta Pretoria. Well, that was all very strange. One moment they're helping us apprehend criminals, and the next they're racing off to peddle their wares elsewhere. Merchants certainly are a busy lot, aren't they? Not that I'm complaining, of course. With those suspects in custody, I'm sure the Resistance will be able to wring some valuable information from them. I expect all that ringing will take a while, though. It looks like we've been given an opportunity for a little rest. You've certainly earned it. Level 92, Bandits Abound, complete. Level 94, take me to your leader. Zizoja is patiently waiting for the Resistance to finish interrogating the captured highwaymen. But I guess I'd say the Resistance has been interrogating the captured highwaymen for long enough to get some answers from them. With any luck, we may even learn more about where we can find Sheltovite. I'm sure the commander is eager as we are to put a stop to his misdeeds. Let's go and see if she's unearthed any useful information. Oh, I was just about to send someone for you. Glad you could save me the bother. If I have a favor to ask both of you, I'm going to let the criminal walk free and I want you to follow him. See, our questioning has revealed that the bandits are indeed working with Sheltovite. If we cut one of them loose, he might lead us straight to their den. But if the mission fails and you're discovered, you might find yourselves confronted with an untold number of outlaws. Of course, I considered sending my own men, but I suspect that by now, the bandits know our faces. After Zilly's little display in the gully, I'm sure she alone can handle whatever trouble may come her way. I'll go with her. If this really does lead us to Sheltovite, I'll need to be there when we find him. Very well, but if it comes to a fight, you stay behind Zilly, understood? I'll have the suspect brought over now, but remember what I said and stay out of sight until he leaves. The follow quest? I don't like it. Look at me like that. I said I'm sorry, didn't I? Aye, that you did, several times. As much as it galls me, there's no evidence to contradict your claim that you were acting in self-defense, nor is there tangible proof of any other wrongdoing. We've no choice but to let you go. You have somewhere to go, I presume. Well, I suppose I can find work loading caravans in Alighieri. 
Seems as good a place as any for making a quick get. I mean, turning over a new leaf. In that case, I have you escorted there, but you best keep your nose clean or we'll come down on you like a tons of bricks. Turn over a new leave my arms. He'll be back among his thieving mates before long, and you'll be right there behind him. For now, all we need to know is the location of their den. Do not attempt to approach the suspects. I'll send word ahead to Alighieri. Once you have the information we need, report to the troop station there. The chance we've been waiting for. Let's go. Hmm. I thought it was going to be one of those where we had to follow him. I don't like those. Oh, it looks like we might still have to. There he is. That much of fun and work in Alighieri. He's only just arrived and he's already leaving town. Now comes the tricky part. Keeping our eyes on him and his eyes off us. Stick close, but not too close. Yeah, I don't like that. They're fine. Never sure how, how close or how far I have to be. Follow the bandit from a distance. The objective will end in failure if you're noticed or if you fall too far behind. If you fail to complete the objective, you may try again speaking to Sitolja. Much easier when you have light up.
He's just now questioning what happened to the others. Okay. This is the merchants we met at Porta Pretoria. They just let you go out of the kindness of their hearts, is that it? Not only that, but you came crawling straight back here, leading whoever they sent to track you right to our doorstep. I swear, no one followed me. The soldiers took me as far as Alighieri and then went back the way they came. I made sure they were specks in the distance before I even set foot outside of town. I suppose I have no choice but to take you at your word, not that it's worth much. Well, now that this charade is at an end, let us change into something a little less drab. Is him the whole time? Um, child to fight. Why did you make us fight that woman without the blessing? She could have killed a lot of us without breaking a sweat. Mere oversight, that is all. Though it pains me to admit it, even with the invulnerability granted by the artifact, the likes of us are ever at the mercy of the truly powerful. Never expected that Momoja wretch to hire a warrior of such caliber to retrieve the vessel. Pox on those interfering nincompoops. The Momoja girl didn't seem a bad sort. Naive, maybe, but it's plain that her heart's in the right place. Truly are pathetic. Not only did you fail miserably, but now you're sympathizing with the enemy? Be one good reason why I shouldn't rid myself of you permanently. No, please, we owe you everything to you. Shall divide? Without you, we are nothing. They were all in on this from the beginning, with Shall divide pulling the strings. If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he'd do to his enemies. You couldn't stay away, could you? What, imbecile? You led them right to us. Kakuja, eliminate these vermin. Let me handle this. You're from Tyrol, working here as a mercenary, yes? The ones who hired you stole the Steel Hog vessel from my village. We need its blessing to stand a chance against the beasts of the forest. I can't return home without the vessel. Either you return home empty-handed, or you won't be returning at all. I'd rather not harm a fellow to Raleigh, so get out of here before I change my mind. You've bought enough time by listening to your blathering. Don't let me catch you sniffing around our tails. Elder Fight and his underlings are out of sight. I thought I could make that Kakulja see sense, but he was clearly in no mood to listen. I say our best option is to report to the Resistance members in Alighieri and share what we've learned.
Regardless of how things turned out, we appreciate your cooperation in the investigation. The information you've provided has certainly given us a lot to consider. From what I hear, you must come to blows with the Mamul Jassel sword, or Cell Axe, I suppose. Glad that it didn't come to violence, especially given the power these bandits have at their disposal. Even so, we thank you for braving such a dangerous mission. No thanks are needed. We're just as much a part of this investigation as the Resistance. And I'm sure we can agree we'll need to work together to take down Shaltafite and his gang. Their performance at Porta Pretoria showed just how cunning they are. Seems so, yes. I'm told their little act was most convincing. I'll be sure to warn my comrades against any similar shenanigans. As for the two of you, be careful out there. All things considered, I'd say that went fairly well. Well, if I use the same trick as the time he came to my village, namely posing as a simple traitor when he's in fact a dastardly thief. Still, not even the most skilled actor could fake the fear in his men's eyes. It appears that Shaldavite has complete control over them, and they are powerless to resist. The only one who doesn't seem afraid of him is Kakul Ja. He even let us go when he had no obligation to do so. I think if we had the chance to talk, we might find some common ground. Yes, I get that feeling too. Sounds like wishful thinking to me. I knew you would. I've never been much of a fighter, but I make up for it in other ways. I'm a fairly good judge of character, for one. For most of my life, I've lived in a remote village deep in the forest. I had hardly any contact with the outside world, so the thought of talking to strangers was quite daunting at first. But over the course of my journey, I've traveled through all kinds of places. If there's one thing I've learned, it's this. Wherever you go, people are people in the end. Our cultures and places where we grew up don't make that, that big a difference. None of us are perfect, and we each have our faults, and even if it's harder to find in some than others, believe there's good in all of us. That's why I hope we have another chance to speak with the thieves and Kakul Ja. Certainly not strong enough to beat any sense into them, so I'll try talking some sense into them instead. Having said, well, all of that, I can't... I can't feel even a shred of goodness in that Jolta fight. Maybe I'm not looking hard enough, but perhaps violence is the only language he understands. Things might get a little rough before he's willing to listen. Anyway, we can save him we can save him for last. I'll try thinking of a way to reach out to the other members of the gang. Give me a little time, would you? Level 94, take me to your leader. Complete. Level 96, the Milk of Mamul Ja Kindness. Titul Ja's plan is taking shape. Alright, I have something resembling a plan. First, we'll need to track down the members of Shaltafai's gang. Then, we'll try to convincing them to leave. Considering how terrified most of them were, I'm sure they're eager to free themselves from Shaltafite and his, and his outbursts. I can, still can't pronounce that. With fewer followers, he'll pose less of a threat to the people of Alamigo, and will stand a better chance of taking back the Steel Hog vessel. Of course, we now know Kakul Ja and some other members by sight, so it shouldn't take too long to track them down. In that case, let's start looking. Time for another sighting round of Quiz the Locals, then. Ah, rest assured, I'm already a step ahead of you. Besides, if your role is to fend off bandits and the like, mine should be to gather information and whatnot. Does that sound fair to you? As it happens, our resistance friend stationed here had some interesting news to share. Apparently, the two men posing as merchants that we met before were spotted nearby engaging in trade and conversing with caravan owners, all to nefarious ends, no doubt. They were last seen in a place called Alagana, so we should head over there right away. One has, has a beard and the other has blue eyes. Assuming they haven't changed their disguises, they should be fairly easy to find. All right. Eek.
Ah, good work. Why, well, good evening. What can I do for you? You can start by dropping the Affable Merchant Act. It's nothing but a front for your real line of work. Ah, oh, save me, Sheltofoy. Is that what you really want? You seemed so scared of him before. Look, we're not here to hurt you. We just want to retrieve the vessel. If you explain what's going on, we might even be able to help you. Why don't you start by telling us your names? Our names? Hmm. Come to think of it, not once did Shaltafai ask us that. It was always you there, some undeserved insult instead. I'm Avenel, and this here is Pepin, both born and bred in Uldah. We were struggling to make ends meet until Shathafai, claiming to be a merchant, took us under his wing. Right, he said that he was just like us, exploited and sick of bending over backwards for the rich and powerful. Then he showed us the artifact and told us it had the power to change the world for the better. With its blessing, you could shrug off the charge of an Aurochs like it was soft breeze, making you practically invincible. You can imagine how impressed we were, and we did exactly as he instructed. At first, he told us to pretend to be merchants so we could scoff scout out vulnerable caravans. Next thing we knew, we were joining him on raids. We never wanted to hurt anyone, but we owe Shaltafa for giving us the power to strive for a better life, and when we saw what happened to anyone who spoke up against him, still makes my blood run cold to think of it. Hmm. Shal mentioned before that he's also from Old Oz. Assuming he was telling the truth, that is. It seems to me his gang mostly formed of people from a similar background, but what of Kakulja? He's a mercenary, correct? Yes, hired by Shal, so he's skilled... He's so skilled that I doubt he even needs the blessing. Normally he keeps to himself, but he once told me about his homeland, an ocean away. Perhaps it is not unlike my own. Avenel, Pepin, even if you still view us as enemies, we appreciate you telling us the truth. No, we're the ones who should thank you. You've shown us more kindness than Shao ever has. Um, there is one other thing, though. Although you know about the crimes we've been a party to, could you give us some time to straighten things out? Once this is all over, we'll turn ourselves in, I promise. Of course, we're not the only ones looking to cut ties with Shal. We shall. We'll try to persuade the others to leave the gang. Not only that, with us acting as your men on the inside, we can help you take back your treasure. What do you say? This plan might just work. Count us in. We'll tell the resistance soldiers to hold off for now and give you the chance to put things right. You won't regret it. We'll return to the den and talk to the others. Until next we meet. Be careful. To be honest, that went a lot better than I expected, and although it was fairly obvious from the outset, they confirmed my suspicions about Kakuljá traveling here to find work as a mercenary. You remember his reaction when we first encountered him? I have a feeling he and I are both from a similar part of Tyrol, and he was surprised to see someone like me here in Eorzea. Whatever the reason, he's let us go twice now. He may be aiding and abetting a nefarious criminal, but I refuse to believe he's a bad person. I think it's worth talking to him, and for that, we'll need to create an opportunity. The way he spoke about the homeland to Avenal and Pepin means he probably misses it, which gives me an idea. Where I come from, we have a tradition of using incense burners, and if Kakuljá's village is anything like mine, that fragrance will remind him of home. Then, just when he's feeling all homesick and vulnerable, we make our move. The incense itself is made from a copal, a type of tree resin. Do you think you can collect some of that while I gather the other ingredients? I actually came up with this idea back in Alighieri and asked our resistance associate where we might find Copal. The good news is there should be some in a place called the Last Forest. Bad news is that the smell attracts all sorts of horrible creatures, so try not to get eaten. Vroom, vroom.
oozing. Hmm. Is that copal I smell? Oh my, this is quite the find. Once I mix this with the other ingredients, we'll have a bunch of a batch of traditional incense ready for burning. Fortunately, the preparation takes a little while, so in the meantime, perhaps you could begin the search for Kakulja. According to the locals, the Mamulja has been seen near the river, which runs through Rust Rock. With all the dust swirling about this place, I can imagine he'd want to wash it all off somewhere. I find myself bathing more than usual here, so I can relate. Right down here. What are you doing here? Oh, there you are. Here, I have a present for you. It's an incense burner. The metal case is an old one I happen to have with me, but I made the incense from fresh ingredients, including copal that Zilly collected. Why not try lighting it? I'm sure the aroma will bring back pleasant memories of home. There's no need. I'd recognize the smell anywhere. But as much as I long to return home, I'd rather not be reminded of what I left behind, what I might never see again. As things stand, I've no choice but to continue working as Shal's mercenary, no matter what crimes he commits. But why? Fair for a ship back to Tyrol is enough to buy a mansion here in Eorzea. At least that's what Shal told me. He said that if I serve him loyally, he'd cover the cost of my journey home. Hold on a moment. Surely that can't be right. People rich and poor travel from Eorzea to Tuliol all, all the time. Well, since I'm unfamiliar with the local customs for negotiations, instead Shal offered to speak with the ship's owner in my stead. Compared to the journey from Tyrol to yours, here traveling in the opposite direction is far more perilous due to the uh, weather conditions and so forth. For now, for Shaw's skill at the bar bargaining table, the price would have been even higher, so he said. <laughs> I've been played for a fool, haven't I? That unscrupulous thieving snake in the grass, he won't get away with this. I have an idea. You should come with me to Limsa Lamenza, where I can introduce you to the captain of the merchant ship that brought me here. He's sure to give you passage home for a fair price. To tell the truth, I was rather hoping you'd join us in our cause, but you've already been through enough. Getting you home safe and sound comes first. I don't know what to say. Thank you for your kind offer, but I have unfinished business here. I may have been deceived. This is no excuse for the harm and suffering I have caused. I alone must settle the score with Shawl once and for all. Have you ready? The offer still stands. Pity we couldn't join forces, but he's got to do things his own way, I suppose. In any case, let's head back to Alighieri. With all those soldiers around, at least we won't have to worry about bandits, which is more than I can say for this place.
You know, Kakulja isn't all, at all like his first impression suggested. He was actually rather sweet and perhaps a touch naive. Though we can't blame him for being taken in by Shaol's lies, and Kakulja wasn't the only one. I can't bring myself to forgive that treacherous viper. Thanks to him, we've been led a merry dance and still have nothing to show for it. With any luck, our newfound allies, Avenel and Pepin, will have good news for us before long. Level 96, the milk of Mamoja kindness, complete. Level 98, ally in the alley. Tito Ja appears to be somewhat discombobulated. I never guess what. Someone I've never met before handed me a letter who said they were taught, asked to deliver it by an entirely different person. There's no way to tell who the message is originally from. As I'm unaccustomed to, well, everything around here, I can't tell if the letter should be taken at face value or if there's some hidden meaning. Perhaps you could take a look? Billy is to come to the Alamegan Quarter and meet with the man in spectacles. He must arrive incognito. Directions are clear enough, but even so, this is as suspicious as month-old milk. On the other hand, it could be from Avenel and Pepin. This smells like a trap. We don't have any better leads. I think we should do as the letter instructs, but proceed with utmost caution. I'll meet you there. Now that you're here, it's time to get you into disguise. As for me, even the most elaborate costume in the world will do little to keep me hidden in a place like this. I'll stick to the shadows and watch from a safe distance. I took the liberty of picking your outfit for the occasion. Let's hope it fits, eh? The sash and straps are a bit tricky to get right, so if they come undone and your disguise falls apart, just come back to me and I'll help you get dressed again. You must continue wearing these garments in order to progress. You will change back to your normal garments. If you move too far away, look at your map for a garment changes area of effect. Frequency told Jada to restore prolong the garment chain. Not showing us. How do we look? Very Master Jedi. You must be Zilly, correct? I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Our mutual friend Avenel sends his regards. Like him, I and several others have resolved to make a clean break and free ourselves from Shal for good. You and Mamul Ja girl have done us a great service by giving us a chance to put things right before reporting to the Resistance. Now to the matter at hand. I doubt you were wondering why we must resort to such convoluted means to meet with you. Simply put, it is to avoid arousing the suspicions of Shal and, to, and those still loyal to him. As for why we brought you here, there is someone we wish for you to meet. For now, I ask that you remain in disguise. Cooperation is appreciated. One moment, please. Glad we have this chance to meet. Would that it were under better circumstances. My attempt to put a stop to Charles' wrongdoing ended in failure. Hmm. Tried to seize the artifact, but he was ready for me. Even so, it wasn't all for nothing. Thank you all for joining me, in spite of the ever-watchful eye of the Resistance. Time has come to initiate the next phase of my master plan. Until recently, we have concentrated our efforts on liberating wares from hapless merchants. This was all in service to something far greater. The disruption of the flow of goods into Alamigo has plunged the markets and, as a consequence, the city itself into chaos, exactly as I had foreseen. No longer will we be forced to crawl through the mud and lick the boots of the rich and privileged. We shall cast down the oppressors. They will suffer as we had. Meager shall inherit this land, down with the old order. I 
have invested our funds into restoring and enhancing discarded Magitek weaponry. Now nothing can stop us from taking over Alamigo. That's enough, Shaltify. Your treachery ends here. All this time I believed your lies, but no more. Give me the artifact now. It belongs to Sitoja and her people. What? Akakuja is Shal's right hand man. Right hand man. Rebellion it is, then. Silence. Look at this wretched soul. That Mamuja girl has turned him against me, his one and only benefactor. Be warned, should any of you side with this traitor, no longer shall you bask in the artifact's blessing. I seize him or face the consequences. Yes, that's more like it. Any further interference could place my entire plan in jeopardy. I must act without delay. The artifact's blessing and its shockwaves at their disposal, I was given a beating and thrown into the dirt. Later on, my friend here and a few other sympathizers snuck out and treated my injury. More importantly, my attempted mutiny will no doubt have Shaw panicking as he struggles to maintain his hold over the rest of the gang. An attack is imminent with the palace his most likely target. I said you relay this to Sitoja. At the very least, she has a right to know the whereabouts of the artifact. So what happened? And we were right to trust the center of the letter after all. We knew Kakuja had a score to settle with Shao, but I had no idea he'd try to take back the vessel as well. We may not be working side by side. I'm glad to count him amongst our allies. Speaking of which, we must inform the resistance about Shao's plan right away. We stand a far better chance. We stand a far better chance of supporting him, stopping him with their support. But given the power at his disposal, even that may not be enough. Try to think of something. In the meantime, you should make whatever preparations you can, as even the smallest advantage may prove crucial. Oh, and I see you've changed back into your usual garments. Not that an outfit I chose didn't suit you, but I think this is more your style. Level 98, Alley in the Alley. Alley in the Alley, <laughs> complete. Level 100, the Mightiest Shield. Sitoja steals herself for the final confrontation with Shaltavad. And Alan Pepin are on their way here. It's Shaltify. He set his plan into motion. Would have come sooner, but after Kakulja openly opposed him, he became even more secretive than before. He refused to share his schemes with even his most loyal. Now he's used a caravan to smuggle a load of Magitek into the city. He's about to launch an assault on the royal palace. We managed to sneak away, but Shaltify and the others will make their move any moment now. Understood. We'll head there straight away. No choice but to face them head on. While I wish there was more I could do to help, I just leave the fighting to you. No, what am I saying? There must be a way I can help. The treasure is from my village. I should be the one to solve this. 
sure you'll think of something on the way. You're in, you're in. This is no time to waver. Stand back and let me take care of this. I thought I'd find you here. If you're gonna help instead. He told y'all you've already done so much for me and the others. Shall tricked into becoming his accomplices. But it appears it's in your nature to help wherever you can. Nevertheless, your place is not on the battlefield. You must leave that to Zilly and myself. But what about your injuries? They were not so severe to begin with, and those in the gang sympathetic to me provided various balms to treat the worst of them. Glad to know there are a few good eggs among them, but now that we've decided who's going, we need a plan. And the way Shaw uses the vessel, it's clear it's one thing he hasn't realized yet. As we say in my village, cracks form even in the mightiest of shields. If there's a limit to the blessing's power, we'll find it. Whatever you do, you better do it quickly. Shaw and the others will soon reach the palace. We'll share everything we know with the resistance and ask them to come as quickly as possible. Be careful out there. Must have taken the long way around, since the caravan won't be able to traverse the stairs. We, on the other hand, have no such concerns. Let's just take a shortcut and intercept them. Then again, they may try to use the vessel's power to stop our advance. We'd best keep our eyes peeled for danger. You're the best choice to lead the charge, so we'll await your signal. Ready? Well then, it's now or never. Um, sorry, this charging into battle stuff is all new to me. I won't pretend I'm not scared, but I'll try to stay out of your way. Besides, I can't afford to back down now, knowing what's at stake. Let's show Shao who he's dealing with. Duty calls. Commence battle for the mightiest shield. Level sync is in effect if you are above the maximum allowed level. will be synced as follows. Level 100, item level 680. Proceed. Infiltrating the city was almost too easy. Now go, comrades. The smoldering ruins of the old order will be foundation of our utopia. That's as far as you go. I thought I'd seen the last of you. Do you not see that this artifact can lift up the meek from under the boots of their oppressors? Not just one isolated tribe, but everyone who's ever known fear. You call me a villain, but it's you who would keep such a liberating power to yourself. You are no better than those we struggle against, and only when your ilk have been eradicated will the world know freedom. The hour has come for us to rise up and take what is rightly ours. A whole village might rely on the treasure's blessing, but we would never use it to steal from others. You lie, cheat, and sow nothing but misery. You don't want to cast down the oppressors. You want to be the oppressor. Silence, enough of your sanctimonious prattle. Unbound. Call the fear Craven's Creed. Perhaps I am every bit as wicked as you claim, but what of it? Does your self-righteousness make you better than me? For you and all those who judge me unworthy, my hatred will never die.
Remember, cracks form even in the mightiest of shield. Must be some truth to it. Don't let up your attack. Back the barrier. Not do anything about that. What the hell's cracked? <laughs> you fool, this is limited of the artifact spot. They shattered the barrier. The artifact's power is absolute.
something to it. much longer. Don't give in, Kakuja. You still need to travel back to Tuliolo. Can't lose to someone like Shao. Words of encouragement and power. Yay, duty complete. We got the vessel back and it's still in one piece. Please, I beg of you, give me the artifact. All the trials I overcame to join the Unbound, everything I did was for a chance at happiness. Without this blessing, I'm nothing. My enemies will live on unpunished. Enough, I've tried reasoning with you, but it seems there's only one language you understand. Arr. Are you all right? Never better. We surrender. Let's say Shaltafai's plan for world domination are well and truly over. Not only that, but the Steel Hog vessel is back where it belongs, or at least it will be soon. 
Of course, I have you two to thank for everything. I quite literally couldn't have done it without you. Although the resistance arrived more than a bit late, they've now taken Shaltified and his cronies into custody. They're lucky we were on hand to comfort the confront the gang. Things could have ended very differently. I have to say my first trip overseas was a lot more eventful than I'd have liked, but I'm glad I had the chance to meet so many interesting people. Well, apart from the criminals, that is. As much as I'd like to spend more time seeing the sights and whatnot, I suppose I'd best get back. Get the vessel back to Tural. What about you, Kakuja? There's only one thing I can do. Turn myself in, just like Pepin and Avenel. Even if I was uh, dancing to Shal's tone, the fact remains I committed those crimes of my own free will, and I must pay the penalty. Perhaps if I am one day granted freedom, I'd like to pay my way home with fairly earned coin. The first thing I'd do upon returning is visit your village and offer my apologies for using the artifact to carry out evil deeds. After that, I... No, it is too soon to speak of such things. Wherever your journeys lead, uh, you're always welcome in my village. Be sure to come visit one day. How about you? If you happen to pass through Tuliolo, my grandfather would love to show his appreciation for all you've done. Maybe I'll see you there? Are they going to make a love connection? It was fairly fast. Your return, Zilly, but pray tell, what has become of my granddaughter? I am right here. We did it, Grandfather. We took back the Steel Hog vessel. My dear, what a relief it is to see you safe and well. Of course, I am glad you were able to retrieve the treasure, but even that cannot compare to the joy of seeing your smile once more. And to you, I must express the sincerest gratitude. No doubt we have you to thank for Sito Jha's safe return, not to mention that of the vessel as well. Absolutely, I would have been lost without your guidance and bravery in the face of danger. Thank you, truly. Anyway, we should be getting back to the village. No doubt the others will be clamoring to use the Steel Hog vessel to go hunting. I'll be, co I'll be coming back to Tuliol all at some point, so hopefully we'll run into each other again soon. Till next time. <laughs> Level 100, the mightiest shield complete. Keep it unlocked. Some shields are made to be broken. 